That's quite an impressive number. Ha! Damn! Oh, he just sniped him, bro! He sniped all of them! Hey, it's time for the Broly movie. There's a new movie that came out after the Broly movie, which is the superhero movie. Came out this year. I am gonna be watching that after the Broly movie. It's a good time for me to actually review and judge which movie from Dragon Ball is gonna be the best movie. I'm assuming the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is the best movie in Dragon Ball. But I'm also excited to watch the superhero movie because I heard a lot of cool stuff happen in that one. At the same time, it was kind of make some people didn't like it. I gotta judge for myself. But today, I am really excited for this movie because this one is pretty much one side. Everyone says it's amazing, godly, like amazing animation, just good story, good everything, good fights. Get your popcorn, everyone, or whatever you like to eat. You don't gotta eat popcorn. If you want a burger, go ahead and get a burger. If you want a hot dog, whatever food you got at home, go ahead and grab that shit. Sit down on your couch. Let's have a good time. That's up to the YouTube people. If you guys see the Broly movie in different parts, I've mentioned this a lot. I'm pretty sure a lot of other YouTubers have mentioned it. Ah, copyright. I'll put it simple. So the longer the video, the easier it is for me to get copyright, even after I post it. Actually. Sometimes the system doesn't detect it and then it detects it later. It's a big video. So for a movie, one hour, I'm not exactly sure if I'm safe from copyright. It's easier to focus on making it copyright free if it's shorter. So on YouTube, will be in more parts. But of course, it's a good time to promote my Patreon because truly, if you want the whole entire thing, no copyright, no cuts, no censoring thing on top of the screen, you can check out the Patreon, which is in the description. And then you can get the tier three for the early uncut, uncensored. You just want the uncut as tier two. All right, that's enough rambling. Let's get into this movie. Planet Vegeta. Oh, what is this? We're starting off with a flashback? Planet Vegeta should be destroyed. 41 years ago. Is this where Frieza absolutely obliterated the whole planet? And poor Goku's dad, the legend? That's where he died. I'm loving this art style. Wait, now that I watch all of Dragon Ball Super, I see a difference in the art. This one looks um, it's, it's kind of closer to Dragon Ball Z. Watch where you're flying! Oh, straight up invaded. Is that the whole force? The great King Cold has now arrived, your majesty. King Cold. I'd say that's pretty obvious. Damn, King Vegeta, you guys couldn't fight back? They were just too strong, huh? Oh, Ginyu Force! Bro, King Vegeta's tough. I don't care what anyone says. He's like, that beard makes him look so tough. Alright, here's King Cold. Where's his son, Frieza? You'll find that my son has a short temper and is even more cold-hearted than yeah, I am. Yeah, we've seen that before. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. <laughs> I have such high expectations what? for you. For your First sake. First sentence. I hope you live up to them. Oh. Oh. Damn, they were always to serving. To my rise to power, I brought along new combat items to aid you in your servitude. These devices are called scouters. You'll find he they're far more compact them. and powerful than the sadly outdated surveillance scout scopes you've been using until now. They also function as communicators. The display should be familiar. They show your target's position and battle power, just like the older scopes used to. Uh... Oh dear. It appears that a number of Saiyans currently have weapons trained on us. Oh, exposed! Let's see, the Saiyan hiding in that tower has a battle power of 2,000. That's quite an impressive number. Ha! Damn! Oh, he just sniped him, bro! He sniped all of them! Just straight up without looking! That's scary. No wonder why they serve him. He has too much power over them. I'll leave 500 units behind as a gift for your troops. If you don't think that's enough, feel free to complain. I believe we're done here. I'm loving this. I love how he saw like how he first got the scouters for them. This is OG. Is he gonna break it? I don't blame him. I'd be pissed too. He's literally. Oh, 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 oh. Take... Is that Vegeta? He's growing bigger and stronger with every day. You dare to suggest that this He's built different. Has a rating that's on par with my son's? Well, sir, I. Whenever we analyzed Broly, his power level actually far exceeded your son's. Oh! He's what more gifted! What you're saying isn't possible! The prince's rating broke every record in sane history! Give me that! And Broly's stronger? How much does it say? Oh! 
Your yeah. shit it broke it! It broke the system! He's off the charts! The cage appears to have shorted out! We'll get a new one immediately. I'm sending for one now. Uh, upon further inspection, his rating is less than half of his original number. We've had a handful it's of up and down. readings in the nursery lately. His must have been due to a device malfunction. That He's unstable, said, that's what it is. Even if we do ignore the previous data, Broly's latent abilities are quite remarkable. They got a Russian here? <laughs> she and got a Russian here. once receives training, he will grow to be an outstanding warrior. He'll be a powerful asset to our forces. He could even end up being the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> Get out of my way! That's far enough. He'll be a danger not just to the planet Vegeta. I see why um, King Vegeta's take, uh, putting him away. Are that I'm exiling him to a faraway world and not simply ending his life? No. He's not normal. He's unstable. He's a threat to everyone. You're jealous because Broly's latent abilities surpass that of the princess, don't they? Oh, yo! Tongue to, to the king! My son. Say another word and I will have your tongue. Then <laughs> you both of you. Damn! Him and his the son were gonna get late. destroyed. He's gone. I had the pod launched before you got here. It does kind of suck because that's his son. Think about it. It's his blood. Like he loves his son, and they're just sending him away. Hey, sir. But his son is just different. That's the issue. He's like, nope. I'm taking over this. He's about to take it with him. <laughs> Doesn't care about permission. I can't do that. I have to save my son. Damn, he's clicking on it, bro. What is he going? 500 miles per hour? Out of his child's exceptional latent abilities. The fool can't stand the fact that my son is almost the same age as the prince, but far exceeds his power level. He won't get away with this. The pod's destination is some remote location I've never seen before. Yes, apparently it's a planetoid called Vampa that orbits around Star 94. I'll raise Broly to be a mighty warrior on my own. And someday I'll have my revenge against wow. King Vegeta. That's deep. Too bad, like, Freeze already got to the whole planet before that guy came back, I'm assuming, right? Because unless it's like a somewhat different alternate story, but it should be where Freeza destroyed the planet. But that is just crazy. I love that backstory. I'm understanding way more now. So Broly was sent off like this, and this dad, if he goes back, he gets executed. So he trained him on his own in this weird planet. Broly was just talented. He was far beyond Vegeta himself. Where was Goku in all of this 40 years ago? He wasn't born yet? So, this is Vampa, huh? My calculations say the pod should have arrived here two days ago. Please be alive, Broly. I'm coming to save you. This area is all green. It suits Broly perfect. The Please planet is green. The sky is green. What are those crawling critters things? Whoa! Alright, that's a big ass monster. Ugh! It has like a tongue with a sting and sharp teeth. It looks like a ladybug butt on steroids. I shouldn't even be out here. I'm not a soldier, damn it! The way he took that guy with him by accident, because he was in a hurry. This guy got caught up in this. Looks like the daylight drove away those storms at least. Sure is hot now though. Is that a planet or a satellite? Certainly looks like a moon. Don't stare at it for too long. You'll become a great ape. <laughs> oh, right. I've God never by that fact. turned into a great ape before. Well, that's for the best. You'd lose all sense of yourself. The only time to rely on that is when you're cornered with no other way out. Yeah, you don't want to turn it to a gray, gray ape right now. Oh, soft grass. Soft here, and this grass is really thick. Those bugs. It they're looks sipping. As though they're drinking something from straight out of the ground. So there's liquid under. Oh no, it might be a volcano. What is that? Oh, that's a what? That's a creature. Is that like a furry snake? What? What's going on here? Oh, there he is. He's inside like a tube. He looks like he grew up a lot more. Broly. He looks smaller when he was you in like the liquid pot. And then ate its leg, didn't you? That's my boy. <laughs> He's proud of him. So this proud is your dad. Son. 
His battle power is 920? That's higher than I am right now. <laughs> Imagine how embarrassing you feel. child with an impressive battle power. He couldn't have defeated this monster at his current level. <laughs> yeah, that Broly's unstable, I'm telling you. So that's it. Looks like his battle suit has been stretched out and torn in places. He must have stared at the moon and turned into a great Oh, game. that, that makes sense. Get away from this world. Felt like we took some damage coming in. That's the reason he defeated them. He had to turn to the grave. Oh, no, no. What is it? The main floater is cracked. We're done for. You mean you can't fix it? Absolutely not. And without a new floater, we're stranded. Oh what? shit, that There's sucks. Got to be something we can do. At this point, we can't even radio for help. Not that it would come. Imagine being stuck on this planet. Ten days. Do you really think anyone will find us before we start to starve? Oh, I knew we shouldn't have crash landed like that. I told you so. There is one sure way for us to conserve food. Is he gonna kill him? <laughs> oh, that's evil. We got rid of him. I really do. Five years Barda. later. How did they fly out? Oh, that's Barda. We've almost arrived at planet Vegeta. Feels good to be home. Huh? Forcing our people into slavery. Reaping so the benefits of our work. That was a pretty long time ago, though. Sure, but all this time we've never been happy working together, have we? That's true. I can't think of any saying who likes Frieza. Or any saying that likes to be a slave. Yeah, and I'm betting he probably feels the same way about us. <laughs> what? The Frieza force has grown extremely large. They could probably get by even without us annoying Saiyans around. That's what Frieza started thinking when he began to destroy Wait, everyone. Hold on. You're not suggesting that Frieza's planning to exterminate us? It's he a wouldn't lose any. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> come on, quit playing, Bardock. Bardock is like a yeah, more badass Goku, like look wise. You. Didn't think you'd make it back alive. Can't afford the least bit of anxiety right now, so I had to be sure. Not that they'd be a problem. So then, are you cancelling the attack? <laughs> you are hilarious! <laughs> Frieza canceling the attack? the trouble of assembling all these monkeys. It's a perfect plan to get rid of the Saiyans. Planet and all. Wouldn't you agree? Bro, it's so Welcome scary. Good like, I, the way I'm trying to think of it is like, in this situation, the Saiyans are so much weaker than Frieza. And... It's like so shocking that he can destroy all of them. Like the whole planet is just, it's insane. See ya, Bardock. You too. <laughs> What's wrong? No warm welcome, Guine? <gasps> Bardock, you're here. Things sure are crazy around town today. Is that his wife? Yeah. It's not that often. This is the first time I've seen back. Goku's mother. Where's Raditz? Off world. He's in the military now, teamed up with Prince Vegeta on some planet. I seriously doubt they'll make it back for this. Wow, Prince Vegeta, huh? I wouldn't want to be stuck on a ship with that one. How is Kakarot doing? Is he still in the nursing capsule? He is. It's just about time to let him out, though. You should see him. Come on. I want to see Kakarot. I want to see him. Oh, look at little Goku. Baby Goku. Still small, huh? I think he may be a late bloomer. He looks just like you, though, don't you think? Literally. He has his father's hair. Exactly the same. <laughs> After dark, I'm going to steal a pot for him. Huh? We're going to send our son to another world. Huh? You've got to be kidding. Gine, I'm serious. Have you gone insane? Why would we abandon our son like that? He hasn't even learned how to talk yet. With his latent abilities, he's destined to be sent away. Probably somewhere horrible. This is actually so, we're so going good. To see to it that he at least grows up on a decent planet. Getting this, I didn't expect the Broly movie to have this deep of a backstory in the beginning. I am so engaged and it's actually learning, like I'm learning new stuff about Goku. I'm understanding his past a lot more than before and it's showing like er all the questions I've had is getting answered. Because I did have like questions about like the small details, like who's Goku's mother, when did he get sent to Earth, or like why he got sent to Earth. I got some of that answered but now this whole, this movie is giving me all of it. It's actually an amazing opening. We're going to see to it that he at least grows up on a decent planet. No, he's far too young for that. I don't think we can afford to wait much longer. And what does that mean? Because of Frieza. I think he's afraid of the legendary Super Saiyan appearing one day. It is a risky situation. Hold on, the Super Saiyan? But that's only... That's just a children's fairy tale, Bardock! 
I know. No, 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 no. The problem is, I think he's still bothered by the legend. And I can't imagine he'd want to take any chances. <sighs> I get the feeling. Barak is a genius. That death is on its way for us. He felt it. He knew. He knew how Frieza thinks, and Frieza's just pure evil. Uh, is there another option? Let's think about this. No, it's, it's the only so choice. Sad. If I turn out to be wrong, I'll go and rescue him. Program this to head to a distant planet called Earth. The people on that world have low power levels and aren't technologically advanced. Uh, do you I mean think you'll be able to do well there, Kine. Good thing is, it's not an extremely valuable world, so I'm hoping it won't even show up on the Frieza Force's radar. If your father is wrong about this, then we'll come and get you immediately. This is actually very emotional. what it takes to survive, got it? Oh man, they send him off at this age. Oh, this is actually so sad, bro. Imagine sending a kid off at that age and him watching him like he's leaving his parents. Oh, knowing what happens. Damn. Such a messed up situation. Wow. That's where his journey starts. Frieza played it too safe too. He'd even give them a chance to like try to like take over or like assassinate Frieza. He's too safe. Damn bro. Well, I don't remember exactly but did he one shot the whole planet? That's insane. Wow, so it was like a last second thing. Bardock sent off Kakara literally last second. He just felt it. He tried so hard to defend it too. What a beast, bro. This just reminds me of how much le like a, of a legend Bardock is. A meteor collided with planet Vegeta and was that a what? meteor? Was not a meteor. Our whole world was obliterated. Uh, oh, impossible. <laughs> it's so the crazy. Race was completely wiped out. But how? They should have detected the approaching meteor. Oh, there's a uh, Radis and Vegeta. Well, I guess we're pretty lucky, aren't we? It's a good thing we decided to ignore Frieza's order to head home. No, I'll never get to be King Vegeta. Vegeta, didn't even care you have a much. brother, don't you? Oh, yeah. I wonder if he got blown up too. Huh, not that it matters. <laughs> Vegeta, you're crazy, bro. You had a brother as well. Your whole planet. Yeah, but he was just gonna be a lower class warrior. He was still at home sleeping in a nursing capsule. A disgrace. Nope. Wait, Thank God for Bardock's genius I think plan. Mom said she sent Kakarot off the planet in a pod, though. Oh, he knows. Oh well, I couldn't I I went care to Earth. any less.